Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lord, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Something that you guys have been requesting for quite some time, and that is a house tour. Except, it's not exactly a house tour. It's going to be the setup in which I game and I play my video games and I actually watch my TV. And basically just where I spend most of my days, as I am a full-time dad and a full-time YouTuber. You know, I don't work anymore. I quit my job for YouTube and... I hear more doing this than what I was doing that, so it's pretty good and it works out pretty great. And plus, I get to spend time with my son, which is, again, great. Uh, so we will be taking a look at the bottom part of the house, and I have to explain this. It's because upstairs right now is looking terrible. And personally, I wouldn't feel comfortable showing you guys it, as it would make me feel uncomfortable. It is in the process of getting redecorated. All of this house has just been redecorated uh, at the bottom. Um, what you see here has been here for a while, but, you know, we've kind of moved everything around and put finishing touches on everything. We still need a lot of work to do, but right now I'm comfortable to show you the bottom half of my house. So, without further ado, guys, I'm going to switch around the camera around and we're going to take a look through the, the star household. The star household, yeah, that thing. Okay, so this is the view from when you first come into my house and you know, first of all, you can see up the stairs, there is quite a bit of clutter there, that is because the baby only just got home from his nan and granddad's a little while ago. You can see my living room, but uh, here we have a new kind of addition to our house. This is actually storing some shoes in and shit, they're the babies. Ones. He has all of his uh, Nikes and his Super Mario kind of ones and stuff. I love those. Uh, but he's got those. Uh, also, our kind of key thing that needs to go up on the wall somewhere around about here, I would say. And um, yeah, for all you guys wondering what I wear, I wear only the best. Look at those bad boys. Yes, Converse, guys. You can never go wrong with some Converse. But also, I bought these not long ago, actually. They were meant to be around about £100. I got them for 50 I was like, holy crap, that's so cool. And I've never worn these kind of shoes before. I don't really like them. But you know what? When I walk and the air is, like, blowing at my feet, it feels like Jesus himself is blowing my toes. It's so nice. So, um, yeah, that's that. Now, if I just take a step back, you can see that's what it looks like. I don't like the way my door is. We need to get a new door, but yes. Um, but here you will see that we have a bookshelf. And it has all of my stuff at the top. Amanda's in the middle. And these last two are actually empty because the baby likes to grab shit off there and actually likes to climb up. And uh, so we kind of cannot put anything there right now, but there will eventually be stuff. But for now, we have his potty, his little pooper, and uh, just stuff that he likes to grab on that shelf. But if we go a little bit more forward, these were made by my mum. She made them when the baby was only a couple months old. And um, yeah, it was pretty cool, actually. Um, again, we can see that these are all Amanda's kind of books, what she reads, all that bullshit. But most importantly, here is my stuff, my $500 collection of Funko Pops. I think it may actually be a bit more now, but yeah, they're pretty cool. And I do have a pretty awesome comic collection back there, only Marvel. I don't own any DC kind of comics yet. Um, and they're all my comic collections, my Marvel Encyclopedia. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Up here, we also have a couple more. And yeah, and you have my... You have my hair wax there, my hair wax, that's how I keep my hair like nice and kind of volumed without it looking greasy. Never put gel in your hair guys, it's got to be wax, it's got to be wax. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. The kitchen is in there, but I will not show you that, as I said, I feel not uh, thingyo. And also the bathroom, which looks okay, but you want to see where I shit. Uh, moving on into my living room, we have my setup here on the left, we'll look at that more in a little bit. But here we have a L-shaped couch. And when I was a kid, I always said, I am going to get my own house and I need an L-shape. If it's not an L-shape, I don't want it. And I finally got one. Cost quite a bit, but yeah. Um, so that is where my setup used to be. And uh, as you can see, I still have my kind of Crayola scribbles from Nathan. 
And uh, that is very sentimental to me, that actually. When he came over and scribbled it, I didn't shout or anything. I just let him do it because when I used to work in this little, like, area here, when I was feeling sad or, like, kind of lonely or I was missing the baby, I would look at that and I would instantly feel happy again. I know, it's, it's kind of nice. It's just a silly little thing, but it means so much. I don't know. Um, also, I do have a back garden. It does look terrible at the minute. I understand that but with Nuka World coming out I've been working my ass off like crazy. I do have a trampoline and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool um, Again looking at my corner. I'm just gonna sit down <clears throat> Okay, so this is my view from the corner of the couch We do have my entertainment kind of unit with a skybox that is I guess I watch all of my kind of TV on there. It play and pours it and shit for all of you Americans. Probably TiVo. It would actually probably be TiVo. Uh, we have my Xbox One gathering a little bit of dust. And we also have the kind of... I forget what that's called, but it goes with the soundbar right there. That television is a 50-inch smart TV from Hitachi. If I can find any of the links for any of the items that you see in this video, I will try and include them into the description. But yeah. Um, also, this little unit over here has all of Nathan's things in it, his nappies, his toys. Pretty much this is all dedicated to Nathan. Uh, we have nothing on the walls at the minute, but we do plan to put these pictures on there. Only because, you know, we've been redecorating and stuff. But um, these two especially, they are my favourite pictures of my son. He is so cute, but he's a little douchebag. But he's so cute. But he's a little douchebag, <laughs> so yeah, I'm in a predicament with him. Um, but yeah, that's his little corner in which he kind of chills and gets all his stuff out. And walking over here, we can see this is my corner. Eventually, I will have my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque there with a signed picture of Michael Douglas and Paul Rudd as Ant-Man and a couple more things. Probably my Funko Pops will go there eventually. But um, I love the setup right now. I really do. Let's take it in to the bottom first. So as you can see, there is my PC, my gaming PC. I bought it for around about £900, about $1,100. It has a GTX uh, 9, 980, 970, one of them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Cable management is not that bad as I do talk it behind the PC. And uh, the fan obviously blowing out through there and stuff. I don't think it's too bad. It used to be a lot worse. Uh, moving on, we do have my keyboard, which is pretty shit. I just bought it because I ran out of money after getting the fucking PC. So I do need to switch them around. Uh, my monitor right here is a pretty cool one. I like that. There's some of the guides that are coming for you guys in the next couple of days. I do have my C920, C920 uh, Logitech there. Uh, along with, I don't know, another picture of Nathan, my girlfriend with the baby, and also my HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headsets. I've never really owned any kind of headsets like this, so I don't know if they're good or not, but they do the job. Also, you can see my monitor is lying on my PS4. That is just for convenience, I guess, and to raise it up a little bit until I get one of those like kind of things. Um, I have my blue Snowball and my blue Yeti. Only just got that. That sounds better than that. When I record my videos with the blue snowball, I actually don't have to edit the audio. Everything you hear, nice and crisp quality, is straight from this onto Sony Vegas and then rendered. I don't have to edit the audio at all. But with this, I have to edit the fucking audio all the fucking time. So annoying. Uh, but yeah, again, another picture of me and the baby. And uh, I just kind of like this little setup in general i love it i mean you guys can't see exactly what i see from my position but uh, it looks great they're all my funko uh, sorry my collector cores uh, boxes and stuff like that eventually they will hopefully go up there all the way up there so yeah that'd be pretty cool and also i do want the baby to do something to this corner like that the corner over there which had the little scribble i want something around here like that but not maybe not on the wallpaper but yeah um, also, I do have my Majolner. I got that from Liverpool Comic Con. Honestly, if you hit somebody over the head with that, it would really hurt. It is so, so, like, it's like really hard rubber. It's really hard rubber. So, yeah. Um, and then, of course, you've got my desktop and stuff with all of my things on it. I'm just being rendering some, some nukas and stuff. You guys know. 
Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, if I'm honest. That is where I spend most of my time in my house. Um, this is just an all-round great room. I love it. All of our memories are here. I don't really know where our Christmas tree will go this Christmas. Probably in that corner, maybe. Uh, but Christmas time, it looks amazing. It looked amazing last year, and I cannot wait. Uh, let me switch this back around, actually. Okay, so there you go. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much my house from the bottom floor in which I, yeah, kind of spend all of my time here. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. I had a bit of an insight to my life and kind of what I'm like. I'm just a nerdy guy who likes his family who, I don't know, I just love my family. As long as my family is safe, I'm happy. So yeah. Um, but guys, thank you all for watching very much. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it's not a full house tour, but like I said, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable with that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.